So guys, now that the knee-jerk controversy of that Icon versus Snap-on Hammer video I put up yesterday has subdued a little bit, let's dive into why these Snap-on Hammers are way better than the Icons, why they are not the same thing, a hammer is not a hammer, and why Harbor Freight is uh, screwing you with the price tag on those Taiwanese hammers. So to start with, the Snap-on guy just left. Uh, a lot of you were giving me crap about my hammers being rusty, so I went ahead and traded them in for the master set of hammers, so uh, no more rust to give me crap about there. First and foremost, these hammers are manufactured by Snap-on in the USA. These are not made by the same company making Icon. They're not made in the same factory. The Icons are made in Taiwan on the other side of the globe. These are made in the USA, and they are made different than any other hammer on the market. Here's a quick x-ray view of a Snap-on dead blow hammer. They've got a fully welded steel canister full of shot. That shot moves with the hammer to maximize your striking force. The handle is a fiberglass composite shank. It is not a metal shank. This allows for movement in the handle and the head independently. It gives you a little bit of flex when you're swinging back and swinging forward to deliver more impacting effort to the head of the hammer. It also limits the amount of shock and vibration that goes from the hammerhead through the handle and into your arms, which if you're a professional, all the impact and beating that your body takes in this line of work, working on things, being a mechanic, being a technician, being a tradesman, the more you can dampen that and lessen the wear and tear on your body, the better. They've got a different grip system. They've got a different handle. The handle actually has two different segments. If you want to grip it here to choke up on the hammer for fine tapping, and you've got the handle down here for swinging really hard. So the Icon, again, is made in a completely different factory on the other side of the planet. The handle is a solid steel shank, as it says right here in the description on Harbor Freight's website. It does not have a composite handle like the Snap-on does. There are massive differences in those hammers. Now, if you're dead set on buying a cheaper hammer, a Taiwanese or Chinese hammer, you're paying 50 something dollars from Harbor Freight for the Icon. When you can jump on Amazon and from, uh, I think it's Yi Yi Tools or Stark USA, which ironically is made in China, you can buy the same weight of dead blow hammer for pennies on the dollar, $18 for this hammer instead of almost 60 for the Icon. Now, if you'd rather skip over the snap on, I completely understand that and you want a USA product, a good quality USA product, look at Trusty Cook. You can buy a USA made quality dead blow hammer, very similar to the Snap-on, better than the Chinese or Taiwanese hammer, and pay less from an American company. Check out the Trusty Cook hammers, they're available on Amazon, or if you want to go the cheap route, check out the Stark USA and the Yida Tools hammers, they're on Amazon as well.